context creates an alternate virtual reality for a crisis to examine why they happen, to prevent them from happening in the real world, a kind of risk reduction mechanism. The challenge, every emergency manager, crisis manager, worries about what you're going to do with a crisis before it happens. How are you going to mitigate its effect? How might you even prevent it? Emergency managers have a variety of tools to deal with this kind of problem. Data simulations, tabletop exercises, as well as field events. They all have their limitations. Ameripax, deconstructing in an alternate virtual reality the crisis situation to understand why they happen before they happen in the real world. Two outcomes from this business. One is a subscription service to rehearse and understand what the problems are before they happen. And the other is the, is the technology, the full dive virtual reality unit that totally immerses the operators in the virtual environment. The market for this is huge. There's a global market for virtual reality, a global market for modeling simulation, and a global market for crisis management. Ameripex would intersect all three markets. The competitive landscape. You have a number of vendors, large and small, Meta, Microsoft, Apple, and so on. They're all selling equipments. Some smaller companies are doing it as well. Headsets, treadmills, haptic suits, and so on. Then you have another set of companies that are doing training using virtual reality and other simulation technologies. What Ameripex does and how it differentiates itself from these other companies is that it integrates multiple VR systems together into a fully immersive environment that's indistinguishable from the real world for the operators. In addition to that, it provides an experimental environment to find out why things happen rather than just training, a kind of risk reduction mechanism. The traction, I have a minimum viable product we demonstrated indicating the virtual reality, full dive virtual reality unit was effective in things like plant fires. In addition to that, Microsoft Startup Hub is one of my sponsors and they're sponsoring my cloud environment. The full dive virtual reality unit is patent pending. And finally, I'm coordinating with Texas. I'm going out to Austin next week to meet with the head of security for the Texas Education Agency to talk about doing a pilot on school safety, recreating what happened in Uvalde. There's my team. I have over 250 years of experience, data science, modeling, simulation, crisis management, and VR development. There's the financial forecast. Going up to 2028, potentially $100 million in revenue, the revenue would come from two sources. Licensing the full dive virtual reality units themselves at about 4% per unit, and then the subscription service, setting up the environment and executing the environment for clients, on average about 75K per year. Funding source, I'm asking for $1.5 million to do a pilot on school safety in Texas to demonstrate the capability and go on from there. I self-funded this to the tune of $300,000 of my own money. Microsoft has put $150,000 of their cloud credits. I'm asking you to consider funding this effort. This is something that will find out why things happen before they happen. Please come to my table if you want to know more.